you are welcome to Believers Global TV. Beloved in Christ, I implore you not to miss this important message you are about to listen to. It is not by accident that you are here on this channel right now. I strongly believe that there is something God is about to do in your life through this teaching. And that is why I encourage you to listen to the end. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Today is a day of divine favor and testimony. Stay to the end. Don't go away. God bless you. And so before I begin to share, there are some of you that badges will be given to you in the spirit. Because you are about to be enrolled into the army of God. And so in that mode, even as you are expectant, right now, the wind of the Spirit will just blow through this auditorium, gently. And some of you, the hand of God will come upon you. Before I begin to share, because there is an ordination that is about to come upon your life. I know you came, you have been laboring in prayer, asking God for a door to open, asking God for a shift, but God was using that opportunity to prepare you for the moment. And this is the moment of the Spirit. That thing you are praying for is not what God is looking at. God is raising a warrior on your inside. And so right now by the Holy Spirit, there are not many of you, there are just about five of them. Inside and outside of this auditorium, let the spirit begin to rest. Ushers, you will bring them here quickly. Power of the Holy Ghost, activations. I call you forth. Warriors, lionesses, come forth. Come forth. Come forth. Manteca Basele. Tetelia, Lakina Barak, Vantaria, Papazene, Zanote, Kaladia, Rakiba, Tata. I command your womb in the spirit. Open. Let the rivers begin to flow. Open. 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 Masa, Fetak, Tatali, Kamano. Mante Vegalasina, Mantekira. Activations are taking place. Ordinations are taking place. Step into dimensions of the spirit. Come into realms of power. Realms of glory. Receive capacity by the Holy Ghost. Step forward in the spirit. River flow. Let it alone. River flow. In your church once again. Let it on it is river flow, river flow. Let it on the river flow in your church once again. Let it on it is river. Let it on the river flow. In your charge once again, let it it be seen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise, we give you glory. Please stay sensitive. The Holy Ghost is ordaining people. You may not be falling down. Some of you are crying. It's a move of the Spirit. Some of you are just still in your spirit. It's not about falling down. Those who are falling, that's their response to the Holy Ghost. It's the move of the Spirit in your heart. And so stay sensitive and receive. Some of you are receiving a fresh wine in the Holy Ghost. You are receiving a fresh wine. You are being drunk in the Spirit. That's how you take up your asanas. That's how you take up your mantles. That's how you take up your weapons. And so in the Spirit, I provoke activations. Hey! Be 
people that have been held down by demons the powers of demons are breaking the spirit of heaviness is being lifted the yoke of heaviness the spirit of fear the spirit of timidity is being lifted in the name of Jesus we break those spells Somebody around here, there's a growth. There is something, a growth in your, on your inside. You are about to be operated upon. It's a growth, and you were told you have to be operated for it to be removed. And see the Holy Ghost do a surgery on that person now, right now, right now. The hand of God comes upon you, and that growth is terminated. I cause that growth. I cause that growth. Is that person? Where is the person? If you cannot, can you wave at me? Who is the person? Please come quickly. There are some of you the Lord is already touching. In the name of Jesus, I cause that affliction. Which of you was being for an operation? You were told you had to be operated. You are the one. Yes, please come. That operation is cancelled. I'll pray for every other person, but the operation is cancelled. Go from her. Go from her. You don't have to go. Go. I toss it to the root. Go from her. In the name of Jesus. I cause that growth. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave. Go. dematerializes now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. I cost that growth to its root. It's, it's done. It's done. In the name of Jesus. I've seen somebody wearing a cardigan here. You are diagnosed of hypertension. You're wearing something like a you now. It leaves you now. Go from her. I want you to pay attention this morning. Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands. But the younger one says he is not going to go. And so they left the presence of the man. And behold, the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went. But the one who says he was not going to go, at a point he thought within himself and said, My father has been very responsible for me, so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? 
it is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you listen and probably you feel stirred up, but later on the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of the, those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life, will turn your life around.